Hello everyone! If you don't know me, normally I dance and do workouts, but I've recently thought I should do more talking videos because I've been on YouTube since 2013 and I've never actually told you about who I am. I wanted to make a video just explaining um, my story, really. Also, I think a lot of you guys probably have questions about my dance college I went to or what auditions are like or what it's like in general to be a dancer. I've got the input, just ask me. Here we go. So hi, I'm Tatiana, I'm a dancer, I'm 25. To be honest, you guys actually are a huge reason why I am where I am now. I was more of a shy child, like more quiet and like calm. And then I would have these moments of where I would just sing out loud and dance all crazy, be all weird. I'm really good at being weird, that's for sure. I was just expressive and yeah, like there I wasn't shy. I had natural talent in dancing, at least that's what the teachers back then said, but there was never really that much training in it. I always liked performing and I always liked dancing. I've continued doing it like once a week, so that's it, like yeah. So I did Irish tap and then I did ballet. It was, is my nose red? I was very creative in other ways, like I used to make a lot of short films with my brother, write plays and um, perform them. And then I graduated high school with 19 in Germany, that's normal. After that, I was like, all right, now what? I don't know how old you guys are, but you maybe you can relate. I was very lost, to be honest. And I made these YouTube videos and I was just not thinking, I just did them and I had fun doing them. I wasn't that great, if you can remember. But there was something that kept me going um, to work on my dancing and my fitness. Yeah, and through that I was like, I think I should just try to apply for dance schools. That's why I'm saying like without YouTube, I don't know if I would have pursued this dancing. So thank you. By the way, just as a side thing, in high school I used to be kind of fat, <laughs> be very unfit. I didn't eat that well. So I changed that a lot through the years of training because I got really into fitness, um, as you can see on my channel. Um, I'm just gonna tell you everything now, like tell you about my life. This seems very selfish actually, because I'm just talking about myself but maybe you're interested. So then I applied for three colleges in London. I just chose these randomly. I had no idea about them. Like I didn't know. I like I did some research, but I also had no clue. I applied, I flew there, auditioned. The first audition was like the worst thing that ever happened to me. The second audition went really well. The third one was also really bad. But for some reason they liked my singing, which that makes no sense. Then thankfully this one school took me and then I was just, I was there. I was a bit confused, but I just went with it. Like they invite me, of course I'll go. Yeah, I was working obviously as well. I'm really, really grateful for this college. It was Lane Theater Arts and it was a lot because different world, well, different country, different language, I've never, had any encounter with people like that before, like dancers and I never did jazz before. Like I said, I only did ballet. Again, I'm confused that I even got in there. I don't know. I mean, I'm glad, thank you. But unfortunately I couldn't stay there. It was too expensive. A year later I applied for a few colleges, different ones in London and then in Spain as well. Thankfully I got accepted to all of them, but they were all expensive again. If you know about the dancing performing arts industry, isn't it weird how expensive these colleges are? Like, why? Yeah. Anyway, then I decided for Spain and I lived in Spain for three years. It was amazing. Spain is really nice. I miss it a lot. I go there almost, well, I only graduated like a year ago, I think. Right? How long? A year and a half. I actually kind of want to go back there now, but mm. it was a great experience. I kept doing YouTube sad part now is um, I have filmed so many videos and they're not edited. I like the act of filming, I like the act of creating and performing, but not editing. I am, I can do it for sure. Yeah, if I ever upload a lot of videos suddenly and I look like much younger, yeah, that's probably from three years ago. <laughs> 
but like I put a lot of effort into these so I should have upload them at some point. I liked Spain a lot, that was nice. Um, they have actors, singers, dancers, musical theater artists, like a lot of different people there, a variety of different nationalities. And then I graduated and then I was back home. Now the life of an artist starts. If you guys are artists, you know it's hard. I mean any job is hard but this is all I know. Yeah, you're back home and you're like, okay, great. I got this amazing degree in dance. Now what? First of all, I needed money. Second of all, I needed more training. I trained as a fitness instructor. I was working a lot as a waitress and I miss it. I was there just two days ago for the Super Bowl working as well. While I was working there, I used to apply for jobs and then fly to Amsterdam or fly to Berlin or things like that. Thankfully, one audition worked out and I worked on a cruise ship until December and that was really great. Now I grew in a lot of different areas, like also confidence wise. I think that's the most important thing actually to have experience because that gives you confidence. Without experience, you're always doubting yourself, at least that's how I work. But with experience, you're like, no, I've done this before. I should know how this works. And now that's how I apply for all these other jobs because the contract ended, I'm back home. Life is an incredible journey where you can really have a goal and focus on that goal and go towards it. I want to do more videos for you guys. Um, I need a studio. I don't have a place where I can film workout videos, so that's a bit annoying at the moment. I can make videos about what it was like to study dance or what it's like in the industry for your information. Like I'm applying for mainly musicals right now and agencies. I look to collaborate with a lot of photographers and videographers. I do travel a lot now, but it's a very strange period of my life. Uh, it's it's a lot of work at the moment. You're your own manager. You manage your life. So if you're not doing it, no one will like force you to go to these auditions, force you to fly there, travel there, do this. You're just on your own all the time. And if you don't want to wake up at this time, if you don't want to stretch now, if you don't want to work out now, th then you will see the results later and then you're like, oh great, I should have done this. You have to have a lot of self-discipline. To be honest, I know that it's such a valuable time at the moment for me or for you guys if you're in this period of life where you're investing so much time and money into something but you're not getting anything back. I hope <laughs> that it will um, eventually work out. And I think this is like a test. It strengthens you and you become aware of what you really want to do, who you are as an individual and what your goals are, where you want to go and what you want to do really. I also want to create something. I want to have a message and like tell the message but in an artistic way. What's my artistic style? I'm not sure yet. I need to focus on networking. I need to know people. I'm focusing on Germany at the moment because um, that narrows it down a little bit. But Germany is huge so mm. in the end I'm so so grateful for choosing this route that I chose. I can just only encourage you guys to also fight. In life you can make choices. The results of those choices come back. If you choose to stay safe, if you choose to say no to opportunities, if the reason for you doing something is fear or a negative emotion, I think that's scary because you create a wall around you where you're not able to take in information from other people and be open-minded. And to be open-minded and open your eyes to all the possibilities around you, you need to open yourself up and stop having so much fear in your life. Every day I try to really fight against that feeling of fear and letting that control me. And I know how tempting it is because only now I'm kind of getting the hang of it. Every person has different obstacles in their life, but at some point to reach like the next level in life and in your career, you need to face those obstacles. It's like you run against a wall and you're like, I can't get any f go any further. And that's the point where you, okay, I need to actually look at my problems now <laughs> and work on them in order to move forward or else you get stuck. I hope this doesn't offend anyone. I want to encourage you guys to keep moving and 
even when life's really hard, I can relate. It's not easy, this life. The life I chose is not really easy at all, and, but it's, it was my choice. I'm making big steps, but it feels tiny, like I'm hardly moving, that's how it feels. But that's how it felt last year before I got the job, or that's how it felt when I was applying for all the colleges. I was like, will this ever end? Like this fear not getting into college. For some reason, yeah, it, it ended. <laughs> um, and then you're there and then it's, everything is fine for a while. And then you reach the next level. Don't be discouraged by just having little tiny steps. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. Let me know if you have questions. I wish you all the best. Keep moving forward. And I really hope it works out that I can find a studio that I can film in. We're in this together, in this life, and in the struggle of fighting to succeed at something and being happy. I hope you feel like comfortable sharing things here and we can encourage each other and help each other out and support each other. I'll see you next time and have a nice day. Bye. I've been sitting on my feet the entire time and it hurts. <laughs> Ow. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay.